Hello everyone, welcome back to another Calamity video, and in this video I'm going to be starting off with our first hard mode boss fight, which will be Cryogen. So I hope you enjoy the video, and let's get right into it. Okay everyone, time to fight Cryogen. I have my infinite buffs, I have my honey fins, and I have the cryo keys. I'm probably going to use this blazing star, because it's my only hard mode weapon that actually does a lot of damage. So let's just start the fight. I'm also going to stay pretty much on the ground the whole time and not on the arena, because he does become enraged outside of the snow biome. Which I don't want. Alright, it looks like this guy doesn't have that much HP. Doesn't seem like this is going to be too difficult of a fight. These little spikes do actually do a lot of damage, though. Actually going to heal up. This might actually be more difficult than I thought. There's a lot of little spikes to dodge. This isn't going too well. Oh, I have my building accessories on too. See if I could actually change that real quick. What do I want to equip? Uh, I'm just gonna put on the rover drive, get some extra defense. Okay. I am taking a lot of hits. I need to focus more on dodging. This guy's actually really fast, too. Oh, I'm frozen. Maybe I'll use these little throwing knives, because uh, I need more range. Mmm, okay. Okay, everyone, since I lost that fight, I think I'm going to actually go for adamantite armor. And um, I think I'm going to do that in a time lapse as well, so let's go. Okay everyone, so I got a bunch of adamantite, so I think I'm actually going to make the adamantite armor. Now there isn't actually a rogue set for the adamantite, so I think I'm just going to go with melee because it has the most defense. Um, I also think I'm going to craft some of these adamantite throwing axes. I'm just going to make a whole stack. They do similar damage to the blazing stars, I believe, but actually let's test that out. But I think they have more range. So let's see. What is that, about 500 to 600 damage? It's about 400 to 500 damage. Now let's test out the Blazing Star. Blazing Star actually does a lot more damage. I think it might have a higher attack speed too. I don't know, we'll have to see. Can I reforge these? I probably not because they're um... They're consumable weapons, but... Alright, well, let's try Cryogen again. The defense is the main thing that I wanted to test out. Alright, so I just wanted to add a little context to this next clip. I do say a couple things in here that will be kind of confusing without this context. So basically, after the first fight that you saw, I failed two more times. So this is the fourth time I'm fighting it. The uh, boss fight that you're about to see is the fourth time. So just know that I did fail the boss fight two times before the one you're seeing. Alright, so we're coming in for round four. Let's actually buff up. I think I might have a couple more buffs than I did last time, but none that'll make that much of a difference. Um, I actually forgot to use my summons last time, so I have them out now. And let's go. Alright, there he is. I'm feeling much more confident. Of course, I was confident last round as well, but now that we got him down to 500 HP and I have my summons out, and I know his movement's a bit better, I think we can do this. Alright, I feel like he's actually taking less damage. Also, I have a lot more HP now. Because, um, I drank a... 
I'll have to see the name, the buff name, but it gives me 25% more HP, which is a lot more than the Life Force Potion. So I'm super Omega tanky now. Yeah, I don't know, the Blazing Star might have been, been a bit better than these throwing axes. I think it is, I think I'm just gonna use that. Alright, about 60% HP. We're doing pretty well. I feel like we've taken less damage than last time as well, too. But of course, he's not in his second form yet. Which is when we took the most damage last time. Alright, I think this is a second form. Yeah, there's those little frozen throwing star things that he spawns in. Oh, he teleports. I didn't even notice he teleported. I think boss teleporting actually helps a lot sometimes. Like, unless he teleports on you then it's really more of a good thing because you can get them in a different spot out of your way. Alright, we were doing pretty well at dodging there until we ran into a spike. But other than that, we're in pretty good shape. Still have close to full health. I still haven't used the health potion. So if we need to, that's always an option. Alright, it's about 7,000 HP. It's close to the point that the fight started going downhill the last round. Oh, Cryogen's really damaged now. Just drink a heal for safe measures, I suppose. I wish I had a better dash. Like the Master Ninja Gear? That is that is a really good dash that goes really far. I think I'm going to switch to the Blazing Star. Oh shoot, I didn't even realize how low my health was. Maybe I should prioritize dodging. And let my summons do the work. Ooh, that was close. Oh god. Come on. I can almost heal. I'm very close to being able to heal. 30 HP. Yes! Let's go. I don't know what I'm following down. What is that? Oh, it's an enemy! Shoot, it does like 20,000 health. Okay. What was that chat message? I actually missed it. The ice caves are crackling with frigid energy. I have no clue what that means. Does it mean the underground ice biome, maybe? Alright, anyway, let's go back to my base and I'll look at my loot. Oh, actually, there's some cryogen lore up here. I'll grab that first. Alright, so let's take a look at the loot. First of all, we got our first greater healing potions, which will help a lot against the mech bosses. 
I also have the magnum rounds, the grenade shells, you know, we get those from every boss fight. We also have this explosive shotgun shell, which I'm not sure what that can be used for, but I guess I'll have to figure that out later. Let's also read the cryogen lore, the archmage's prison. I'm unsure if it has grown weaker over the decades of imprisonment. Favorite this item to gain frost dash that freezes enemies at the cost of slightly reduced defense due to your brittle body. Now I did actually test this out already. It gives minus 10 defense and it also gives a frost dash, kind of like the dash that I have now that freezes enemies. Now I think the counter scarf is actually better just because you can dodge enemies or dodge attacks and completely negate the damage. So I'm actually not going to use this, but um, let's check out the treasure bag for Cryogen. Boom. Okay, that's actually a lot of stuff. We've got the cool shades. We've got some vanity. A frost core. A bitter cold staff. Staff. That's not very good. We got this soul of cryogen. It's equipable material. It counts as wings. Horizontal speed 6.25. Acceleration multiplier 1. Average vertical speed. Flight time is 120. 7% increase to all damage. All melee attacks and projectiles increase frost burn. Icicles rain down at, as you fly. That seems really good. Can I put in my wing slot? I can. So what's this flight time? Flight time is 60 for that and is 120 for this. So that's actually really good. That's twice the amount of flight time. Also I can rain down icicles. Anakis 7% increase to all damage. Yeah, this is much better. It seems actually kind of slower than my other wings, though. I don't know, we'll just have to test that out. We got a frozen key. You can use that after I beat Plantera. What we got here? The Frost Flare. All melee attacks and projectiles inflict frost burn. Immunity to flush, frost burn, chilled, and frozen. Resistant to cold attacks and plus one life regen. Being above 75% life grants the player 10% increased damage. Being below 25% life grants the player 10 defense and 15% increased max movement speed and acceleration. It seems maybe good for boss fights, but I don't think it's good for just regular exploration use. We'll have to see about this. I'll think about that a bit more. I also got this glacier, glacial cluster. Crusher, not cluster. It's a melee weapon. It shoots slow projectiles. I'm not definitely not going to touch that. I also got some frigid bars. I don't know if this is the same bar that spawns undergrounds that I can mine after I beat Cryogen, but um, I'll have to do a mining time lapse to actually get some of these and get the next armor, I guess. Okay, so let's make the armor. We got the leggings. We got the face mask. And then we need the chest plate, which is right here. 19 d defense on the chest plate. I'll have to compare it to the adamantite armor. Well, the adamantite armor is, you know, it specializes in defense. It actually looks like this cryo armor is going to have more, or Daedalus armor. So let's equip it. Holy 57 defense, 47 without the rover drive, but with the adamantite armor, it's 66. It's 56 without the rover drive. Okay. So it's not a huge loss of defense, but it is a slight loss of defense. However, it does make up for it 
with his rogue damage. Let's actually see what the uh, set bonus is. 5% increased rogue damage is the set bonus. Rogue projectiles throw out crystal shards as they travel. We can actually test that out. They definitely do. That's cool. Once you have built max stealth, you will be able to perform a stealth strike. That's normal. Rogue stealth re only reduces when you attack, not while moving. The higher your rogue stealth, the higher your rogue damage, crit, and movement speed. The movement speed part's actually pretty good, because it's just nice to have more movement speed while not attacking. Not really just while not attacking, just in general. Alright, now let's see if I can actually make any of those wings or accessories as well. It's actually a starlight pickaxe. That's just a melee weapon, don't need that. Um, I'm not seeing the accessories anywhere. I think I might need probably more crystals. So next, I actually want to do a time lapse of both the Frost Legion and the Pirate Invasion, so let's just get right into it. So you might have seen in the time lapse that Santa did spawn after I defeated the, the um, Frost Legion. So let's see what he actually sells. Okay, the Santa outfit. You know, I actually equipped that until Christmas is over. I think that would be a pretty good thing to, nice little Christmas thing to do. Could also buy some Christmas trees. I'll maybe put some of those down. Um, it's placed, these are all placeable on a Christmas tree. It says. So I'm guessing we can decorate the Christmas trees then. Alright, well, on the Christmas tree, I'm probably going to put some of this, this garland. Let's see what kind of lights. Is there a red and green? Yes, right here. I'll keep to the red and green. Okay, I can buy a bunch of star toppers as well. Um, I think I'm just going to stick with the first one. And the ornaments. I could do red and green, but I think I'm going to go multicolored. So let's actually place down some of these Christmas trees. Probably at the top of my base. Actually, how large are they? Uh, they're decent. Yeah, I think I'll put one there. Wait, can you not place them? Okay, never mind. It was just kind of difficult for some reason. And I want to have them the same way. I want to have them the same distance from the entrance to my base. That's six, and that is, what, eight? If I just move this over to right here, if I can't even do that. All right, I can't do that. I'll just move this one, I suppose. Boom, we'll just do that for now. I'll fix it later. I just realized I only bought one star topper. Okay, so you can only place one of each type of tree decoration. 
on each type of tree. Wow, the ornaments don't even do anything, really. You could barely see them over the lights. Wait, if I... Yeah, you can't even really see them. Alright, well, I think it's nice that I have Christmas trees up here. Eventually, I do want to build a house up here. Or maybe a tower or a castle or something up there. I don't really know yet. I haven't thought that far ahead. It's not really a priority. And also, I did realize that there's the permafrost NPC. Now, originally I thought he was an enemy when he spawned in, but it turns out he's actually an NPC. He just has 20,000 health, which is insane. And he is actually an Archmage. I never know to call him Archmages or Archmages. If you know, comment down below and I can fix myself. Okay, I can buy a cryo key, which will be nice because I might grind out cryogen because I did not get a new rogue weapon yet. The magic scarf and hat. Transforms the holder into a snowman. It's equipable. I'm not going to touch that for now. Enchanted metal. It's a material. Delicious meat. Minor improvements to all stats. That's basically pretty bad. Super mana potion for 300 mana and 15 silver. That's really good. Because I think the maximum amount of mana potion amount in vanilla is 200 mana per potion, I think. There's this thing. This isn't too good. I don't think it's worth an accessory slot. Maybe if you were a mage it would be. But there's also these ice stars. It has a weapon for each class except for summoner it looks like. Let's actually test these out. Dude, if they're good then I'm going to use them. Plus it's nice to have something you can buy as your weapon. Okay. Does not have infinite pierce ability, and they are consumed after every throw. It's not too great. Didn't have that great DPS either, so I don't think I'm going to be using those. Also, if you see here, I did actually build a life fruit farm. As you can see, I just picked up 10 life fruit, and this is automatic and just a passive gain of life fruit. It's really good. I actually made a video on it, so if you want to build it, or just see how it works, then you can go on that video. It's in the description, or it's on my channel page like every other video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next Calamity video. Bye, everyone!